With food prices on the rise, programs like the Good Food Project are more valuable now than ever. Some of them is very amazed that, um, that they can actually grow food here. That's Rhonda Lair, the community garden manager. She's talking about the children that come to learn how to grow their own vegetables at the Good Food Project demonstration garden. Some of the foods that um, kids eat that they'd be real surprised and, you know, they never had it before. So they are really happy to be able to have the access to the food that we grow. And access to these vegetables is another reason the Good Food Project demonstration garden is essential to our community. When you have an abundance of uh, vegetables or fruit and uh, you don't know what to do with it, bring it here to Good Food Project. We'll weigh it up, bag it, and then distribute it to food bank neighbors so that they can benefit from that fresh locally grown food. That's the way we're going to be able to help each other to be able to survive these trying times. Community gardens that provide fresh produce within walking distance also makes a big difference. Our North Alexandria Community Garden, we've been um, supplying the needs for maintaining that garden um, for a couple of years now. We have an annual potato dig. The vegetables go to the community. We encourage people to be involved in any way they can to, to keep that continuing. If you would like to donate, please call the number on the screen. The Good Food Project takes donations Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to noon.